My face. All right, guys, it is another quarantine recipe making with my little ones. It is going to be um, chicken and dumpling soup today. So I took it from Delish. I'll post the recipe below. So we've got the onions. I've got my little assistant here, my three year old, teaching her how to cook. No, we're going to do the garlic next, honey. Um. Here, help me. You want to help me put the garlic in? Some little hands helping me. Oh. Careful. Yep. Okay. Okay. We got the garlic going in. And we'll add a little bit of salt until that's nice and sweat. There we go. Just a little salt. Pull out the juices. And I'll show you once we're ready to add the chicken. All right. The onions and garlic are good. I'm going to go ahead and get the chicken in. We'll get that. One more piece there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and saute this up. And then soon we will be adding all of the seasoning and everything once it's all nice and brown. Go ahead and get this brown. And then we'll be adding more ingredients, setting it up to cook. All right, we got the chicken nicely browned. So I'm using, like I said, the Delish recipe. So it was actually made for crock pot and I'm doing it in the pot. So a little bit more difference in timing, but you could do it uh, the way I'm doing it in a pot, uh, sort of the faster version or the crock pot way. So I have uh, one cam of cream of corn, St. Hubert's, I'm up in Canada. So we'll add that. Excuse me, cream of chicken. Also calls for two cups of chicken broth. So what I usually do, two cups of water, and I give it two squirts of the Boiril uh, Chicken Concentrate Bouillon. So we just go one, two, that's roughly two teaspoons, one teaspoon per cup. Go ahead and bring this to a boil. We're gonna go ahead and add some frozen peas. About a cup worth of frozen peas. And then I have about two cups of frozen vegetables right here. Oh, I'll show you that way. I'll put all the rest of those in. Uh, and then we've got some thyme. So I'll go ahead and sprinkle some thyme in. It called for a couple fresh sprigs, but I don't have that. Thyme is very good as a natural antiseptic for colds and things. If you have fresh thyme, you can make a thyme tea. Also with honey, really good for you, natural antibiotic. And then we've got oregano. Oregano is really good for you too when you're sick. Calls for about a teaspoon. I love oregano in soup, so we'll go ahead and load that up there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and add one bay leaf and bring it to a boil for about 40 minutes. Then I'm going to add the biscuits, which are pre-made, and we'll go ahead and put that in soon.